Though the average person may not necessarily think about a film's editing while watching a movie, it is nonetheless one of the most crucial elements of the filmmaking process. Here I will be discussing the art of film editing in relation to French filmmaker Jean-Pierre Junet's 2001 comedy drama Amélie, which is edited by Hervé Schneid. For those unfamiliar, this film stars Audrey Tautou as a young woman living in Paris who takes it upon herself to interfere with other people's lives in order to help them find happiness, and in turn help herself find fulfillment. Amélie is a fast-paced, imaginative, and fantastical piece of filmmaking with a quirky style all of its own. In some ways, it's almost like a piece of jazz music, with the editing giving different sections of the film different rhythms, so to speak. For this video, I'll be specifically looking at how the film makes use of the following editing styles. Continuity, discontinuity, and montage. The purpose of continuity editing is essentially to maintain coherence and consistency within each frame by combining various components of a shot into a sequence. Shot reverse shot is perhaps one of the most well-known techniques in continuous editing. We typically see this technique utilized during dialogue scenes, when the camera shows us one character looking directly at another, then cuts to the other character looking back at them, so we naturally assume they're facing one another. It can also be inventively used to create the illusion that a scene of one character talking to themselves is in fact a conversation taking place between two distinct individuals. One example of this technique being used in Amélie comes roughly one hour into the film, as Amélie has lunch with her father. As you can see here, the camera cuts back and forth between their faces during the conversation, with occasional wide shots showing them both sitting at the table. Continuous editing must be as seamless as possible, and for this reason we generally don't take notice of it when watching a film. Its job is to immerse us in the world of the story. By contrast, discontinuity editing makes no attempt to mask its artificiality. The cuts are noticeable and urgent, often clashing one image against another, thus creating a sense of disorientation. One discontinuous editing technique would be the jump cut, which simulates the effect of jumping forward in time within a scene. The world in which Amélie takes place feels very stylistically heightened, and discontinuous editing is used frequently to achieve this effect. For example, take this scene where young Amélie is screaming after her pet fish jumps out of its bowl and her parents are attempting to save it. Junet very effectively utilizes jump cuts to convey the chaos of the situation and the immense stress that it puts Amélie's mother under. Another example of discontinuous editing in the film comes during a scene where Amélie sets up a series of pranks to teach a lesson to an irritable grocer who is verbally and mentally abusive to his employee. After she has finished setting up her traps, we cut to a brief shot of her dressed as the fictional character Zorro, carving his trademark Z into the door, conveying the idea that she sees herself as a sort of avenging angel. Junet's film also frequently employs the use of montage, our third technique. This term, which is translated from the French word for assembly, refers to the stringing together of short shots to depict the passage of time in a compressed way. During the early sequences of Amélie, whenever a new character is introduced, we are shown a brief montage revealing the things that they like or dislike. For example, Amélie herself enjoys skipping stones at St. Martin's Canal, while her mother dislikes physical contact with somebody she doesn't like. In another scene, a supporting character discovers a box containing some of his childhood belongings, and memories of his youth are shown flooding back to him in black and white as opposed to the bright and distinctive colours that fill most of the film. In many respects, Amélie is a very unconventional film. It mixes a number of different styles and techniques, and its editing incorporates all three styles discussed here. It does so to great effect, and this makes for an exhilarating and unique viewing experience.